back in 1965. The president of the association was a gentleman named Irv Bowen, which is a general contractor at the time. And Irv, uh, as a uh, president of the association, took it upon himself and encouraged other builders to uh, uh, go out and uh, encourage membership from those that were not in the association. So Irv came out on the job, personally came out on the job, confronted you, gave you some information on the association, and uh, after that, that wasn't his last association with you. He made certain that he followed up and made a call. And he was so convincing that uh, uh, the membership provided the services that we were getting, and all we could do is be a member to help encourage those those services by virtue of the membership. So, uh, you know, I've had the good fortune of being a member of the association since 1965. Well, I had the good fortune in 1975 to serve as president of the Salt Lake Home Builders Association. And as I look back in 1985, I served as president of the State Association. And I had the good fortune to serve as a uh, national director and on many occasions went back to the uh, director's meetings uh, in cities around the country and also to Washington, D.C. And it's, uh, it, you, fi you find out how vast the association is and what it takes in order to combat the legal system and the political system to keep the, fair, the, the, the market system so that it's fair. You don't know what the rest of your life is, but uh, you know, as long as, as long as I'm still a building, and I don't plan on quitting quite yet, that I will be a member of the Home Builders Association. It's 56 years now, and yeah, hope to make it 66. <laughs>